Kids at a summer camp in Carlisle are making handmade quilt squares, drawing their own stories. Once they're sewn together, those quilts will head to the nation's capital later this year. Sonica Bargo joins us now with the mission behind this project. Sonica. Janelle Taylor, those kids are making memorial blankets. It's a project started by a nonprofit here in the Mid-States. The project is in its second year, but this is the first time they got kids involved. That's a pretty name. I love this little flower. Arts and crafts, a normal activity for kids at summer camp. They're massive art machines. But this project is different. This is an awesome opportunity to have the kids give back. Kids at the Summer Program for Youth, or Spy Camp, are drawing their own quilt squares. I'm not done with it yet. Guided by Pat LaMarche with the Charles Bruce Foundation. Anything you put near the pencil is not going to be seen. LaMarche says the squares will be sewn into blankets. You guys have one minute. On December 21st. It's the longest night of the year. The Charles Bruce Foundation will bring those blankets and hundreds more from across the country and lay them outside the U.S. Capitol building to highlight homelessness. It's an epidemic in our country. LaMarche and the camp's director, Gina Som, wanted the kids to understand the struggles other people face. One little girl was just telling me that she loves her blanket at home and she really thinks it's sad that someone might not have a blanket at home. We explain that to them and gives them a feeling of purpose and importance that they're able and have something to contribute and hope that they take that with them for the rest of their lives. Frankie DeRose, no struggle firsthand. I was in a bad situation at a foster home before. Eight-year-old DeRose is using her quilt square to tell her own story. I drew a house and the car. It's basically me getting dropped off. I had to go back to them to to get watched for Easter and basically I, like while I was sleeping I was crying because I didn't want to go back. Things got better. It's my house now. And she hopes she can help others. I can show people that everything can get better but you just have to let, your, let it happen. It's one more story Lamarche says they're bringing to the Capitol. They are in a bad situation. I hope they get the the message. Aside from, oh my God, look how many homeless uh, experiences there are out there. <laughs> the other message is, you can change it. After the blankets are displayed in D.C. this December, they go back to the communities which made them and are distributed to families in need. In the studio, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News.